Good afternoon and welcome. I'm Karen Marsdale and I'm president of the Greater Reading Chamber of Commerce and Industry. And we're back again for another segment, um, talking to members and doing a member spotlight, um, which is an opportunity for us as the chamber to have you folks out there get to know more about many of our wonderful members. And there's such a variety of businesses that it's just amazing and fun to, to be able to, to talk to people up close and personal. So with me today um, is Tracy Christman and Amy Stadelmeyer. Stadelmeyer. Yes. And they are from Imperial Monuments. And if you can see in front of us, we've got a, a few um, samples of things. Um, and we were just talking a little bit about um, the, the, the work that you do and, um, and what it means to you. And I think it really is, is something that I want you to talk about. I don't need to be um, in the conversation other than to ask a few questions, but how did you get started in this business that maybe you didn't think you would be in of, of and, you, and you sort of laugh, Amy, because you said that earlier. Um, what made you, we'll, we'll talk with, with Tracy first, and then we'll get to Amy, but what made you t fall into this? Well, I spent a lot of time raising kids and doing things for them mm -hmm. and decided it was time to look for a job. So, you know, like us older people, look in the newspaper, um, saw an, an opening for a job at a cemetery locally, contacted them, wound up getting into the cemetery business for five years. Okay. And then when I needed a change from that, um, some people that I had worked with there knew I was making a change and contacted me about this new business that was being opened. Interesting. So that's okay. how I fell into it. Okay, interesting. And Amy, what was your... Well, I had actually started with one of our sister companies, which was Imperial Contracting Group, just kind of helping right. part-timing and helping out. And uh, I'd also gotten to work with Tracy on some other things. And so one of the biggest things that we were looking to do was grow the business. And I do have a little bit of experience in that. So um, in talking to Rodney, who owns both of the companies, um, I had made a change from the contracting side to the monument side. And the transition's a little different because it's totally different than anything I've ever done before. Sure. Um, but the, and the exciting part about it is, is having somebody like Tracy and seeing what she gets to do for people and how she helps people and creates these memories for people, it kind of gives sheds a different light on this mm -hmm. whole industry. Sure. And, and how it kind of is perceived. Because for me, out, coming from the outside looking in, I thought, wow, I don't know if I can, if I can do this. Um, but you can. Yeah. I mean, it's, you have to look at it from a different perspective. It's how you view it. Right, right. You know, so it wasn't something I really ever thought I was going to sign up for. Right. Just kind Most of, of us don't. Way. Most no, of us don't ever think we, what we're doing is no. what we signed up for. You yeah, know? absolutely. But it, but it, it, it is. Change it. So tell me um, a little, the, I know the company is family owned mm -hmm. um, and the, the gentleman who owns the company has a contracting business and then he also has this this company, the, the memorial business, which I thought at first was very interesting. Um, but let's talk about the business. Now, Tracy, how long have you been there? Almost five years. Okay. So I've been okay. in the industry for almost 10. Okay. Have you seen changes in the way people approach what they want to do in memorial to their to their loved ones? It seems that a lot of people really um, want to put off a lot of these things, a lot of, you know, planning for the future, which is unfortunate because like everything else, the prices it, go up and up sure. and up. And by putting it off, you're putting the burden on your family too at the worst point in their life. Absolutely. So what we would really like to do is get more people to pre-plan and get more information ahead of time before they need it, uh, rather than waiting till the last minute and maybe not getting a memorial or not not having a service or not um, not showing everybody how important their loved one was. Sure. You know, the economics of it is certainly another factor to consider. Right. So interesting because when you think about pre-planning, I think most people will think about, you know, the funeral mm -hmm. um, and what they choose to do there, um, a service, you know, who, who's going to, 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 to handle all of that. But they, I don't know that they think about all the way to the, um, to the, to the monument. Mm -hmm. um, and I certainly know recently in the past five years with, with both of my parents, um, didn't pre-plan. And so this has kind of been the last piece. And then by the time you get to this piece, you know, you just are somewhat fatigued. Correct. Absolutely. And you almost 
plan just by de facto. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that that's not what you want. So p can people actually plan this part along with, in conjunction with um, funeral, or can they do this separately, or what do you? Per separately is perfectly acceptable. Okay. I mean, they can come to us before they do their funeral, after, um, they can buy their monument anywhere, but of course we'd prefer that they sure. bought it from us. Um, and make those decisions so that, you know, perhaps you felt kind of in a quandary that what would mom and what dad, what would they have wanted? What would right. they have wanted? Yeah. And yeah. am I doing right by them? Right. And you don't want, I never want anyone to feel guilty over the size of the stone they buy. The important thing is if, the, if you, they would have wanted a memorial, get them one, get them something that tells their story. Mm -hmm and that doesn't take food off your table. Right, right. So, so um, talk to me a little bit about what might be the most unusual or unique thing that you've ever done in your time with, with um, um, the company. Because I'm sure you must have stories. Well, there are some, um, some that take a very long time to design because there may be several members of the family you want input. And it's too many cooks in the kitchen, kitchen. Oh dear. sort of thing. <laughs> um, but that's, you know, that's also an opportunity for me to really bond with that family. So that's fine with me because I love to talk. I love to visit with people in their homes. Um, but we have had some color etching uh, stonework and they do take a little more time to design, but they are absolutely beautiful mm -hmm. when you see them mm -hmm. uh, in the grass and you know the oh, family sure. comes and beautiful. looks at them or, or photos. Done quite a few with children and pictures of children on them. And the family, you know, you know they've, they've not gotten past their grief, but they can really see this as honoring oh, their child. Sure. And you know, I have my photo album of pictures of all the stones we've done, and I tell people that I treat, these are like my kids, you guys become part of my family when I work with you. So we'll treat you, you know, accordingly. Yeah, that is so much a part of, I think, s success in any mm -hmm. business, and particularly when you're dealing with someone who's going through a grieving process and has lost a loved one, whether it be a person or just as we have on this one um, a little pup mm -hmm. and we yeah. all know what it's like when we or some of us know what it's like when we lose our animals yes. because it's it's um, a feeling of huge loss they're family members yeah mm -hmm. they certainly are they are they're family sometimes members. they're nicer than the other family well, members who have two we feet we like them better <laughs> some days you know but uh, they're just as much a part of our family as absolutely and um and i think that's something that a lot of people don't think of doing right. for their animals is actually having something that they can memorialize them by and We've actually just gotten into the business of including certain things like this, this type of jewelry I was going to here. ask about that. This actually has cremains in it. Really? So this from this product here actually comes in all different types of necklaces. It comes in these globes that you can light up. You can do it for your pets, for your family members, and all types of things. So it's just finding something in a way that oh, wow. even if you don't have the, you know, the stone type of situation that you're looking for, it's just giving someone the, the way to like, uh, memorialize their yeah. family members or their pets that they could see them or, or have that memory of them all the time. And, 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 and everyone is different, so you have to really treat the individual Absolutely. Um, as, you know, as, 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 you know, sort of draw out what is mm -hmm. it that they, that what they want and what will make them, um, give them some joy. Sure. Yes. And I think that's really neat. Now, we're just about out of time because really this has been kind of fascinating. Um, one question is, what seems to be the more, are people going toward um, sort of the flat um, or the, the raised, or is it a combination of? I would say it's a, a real combination, and there are many different styles. And I do try to guide people, you know, if, if they give me the sense that the finances are an issue, mm -hmm. try to guide them to something that maybe has some uh, visibility, but still not so expensive that they, you know, walk away disappointed. Um, and color, a lot of things play into the cost. Sure, sure. Um, and just one last question. Um, would you, is, is the trend, are most memorials, um, are your competitors, let's say, local, or is there, um, you know, are people doing these things um, in other ways? Um, I don't know. There is a lot of competition, I feel. Um, and I feel that there are a couple of large corporate groups. Okay, that's what I was getting I, at, I guess. I don't know if they're getting the quality, personalized service that Absolutely. we provide. 
but we are a smaller company and that's all we do so that makes it easier for us so maybe to, yeah so to maybe that's that something way. too that our um, audience wants to wants to should be understanding because it's not something that they're purchasing every day no. so you're educating them in in a way that um, you know they need that education first of all to pre-plan and also to look for somebody local mm -hmm. like yourself like Imperial because that way you know you're getting a quality product mm -hmm. you know and it's not it's not um, kind of by the dozens if you will it's very very personal no, very personalized just even to the point where we do most of our sales at the customers home oh wow so a majority of the sales that Tracy will go out and do are are with the customer in their home so that she can find and share those types of things that are of interest to them. They're bringing sure. pictures out and they're you know, incorporating all of those pieces that are important to them and they can readily just go grab those things and give them to her so she can create that. It's a, it's a piece of art. Right. It yes, really is. absolutely. It is it's very an creative. Art. It's, it's, it's very creative and it's, you know, in some cases she will literally create their entire lifeline or their, their, their joys of life in that stone. Wow. And it's just a really neat process. Well, I have learned a lot because it's something that we don't talk about yeah. every day, and and yet you are the experts in the field. Um, I appreciate you coming in because now I have a new appreciation. Number one, and number two, I think our our viewing audience should have an appreciation for some of the things that you all do, and for thinking ahead too. So I do appreciate you coming in and. Um, Thanks for being with me for a few minutes. Thank you for and having us. Thanks for no, having it's us. our pleasure. It's Appreciate our pleasure. It. Thank you for being a member as well. Thank you. It's important for people to have the conversation with yes. their family. So Absolutely. This is, this helps, have right? the conversation. We told you so. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. <laughs> Thank Appreciate you. it.